Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome for another edition of University Campus Tour. So today we will be touring Deakin University. Deakin University is close to my heart because I have studied here twice before. Now we are in front of Deakin University. This is right in front of the main gate. There is a tram stop. One is going all the way to the city and the other one going to southeast suburb. And that's me in front of Deakin University building. They actually have new buildings built since the last time I stepped foot in the university. The last time I was in the university was in the year 2013. As you can see, that is a tram. It looks like a train, but it also looks like a bus. <laughs> so it's half bus, half train. And there is the Deakin University station right in front of the university. So it's very, very convenient for people who are traveling and catching public transport. So we're going now under the underpass <laughs> and we are walking towards the university. So we are in the university. The good thing here in any of Australian universities is that they don't have guards or gate guards or university guards. You don't have to show your ID to get in. The universities are actually open for public, especially if you want to read books and you want to access their library, which what I'm currently doing. I just went in because I want to give you guys a good university tour for those international students out there who wants to consider studying in Australia, particularly in Melbourne. This university tour is for you. And we are touring Deakin University's Melbourne campus in the suburb of Burwood. Burwood is located in southeast part of Melbourne. So as you can see they've got amenities already and this building is quite new. The last time I was at this university was in 2013 and they only have a few buildings. Now they have buildings everywhere and they've actually expanded. The university campus now is even wider. So let's go and let's tour the university. I was just saying that the school is massive, the campus is massive and I don't know if a 15 or even 30 minutes video will be enough to tour the whole campus because it's really massive. And you can see this tap water everywhere in the campus. It says be smart choose tap. They have outdoors elevator or lift. They are full of greeneries and small parks that students can stay and relax, read their books or even answer their assignments. It's this is like a viewing platform overlooking the football field and other buildings and amenities of the campus. That's a new building. And we will follow these directions so that we will know where to go next. That building there is an old building and it is a very, very iconic building. It's been there for years and years and I always appreciate the design and the architectural design of the building. So we'll be going in in a few minutes because I want to show you the beauty of this building. And like what I said, 
university is full of greeneries that people or students can stay and relax. And like what I said earlier, I have studied in this university twice. The first one was, I think, in 2010, where I studied for a few months so that my qualifications overseas, particularly in the Philippines, to be recognized here in Australia. So I need to train myself. And then a year after that, around 2012, I went back and studied a postgraduate degree in diabetes and diabetes education. So Deakin University is really a part of my career in Australia. This university was there when I was just starting my career in Australia. So Deakin University is very close to my heart. This building uses a the natural light, which is good for the environment and good for the electricity bill. <laughs> and like what I said, they've got a lot of greeneries. And we are going to this building where I used to study. This is my building here. And I would think that there's a lot of changes now in this building, but it looks still the same from outside. But I just don't know inside. So let's explore it. By the way, Deakin University is a public university. Almost all of the universities in Australia are public or government owned. And the education here in Australia is not that expensive or not expensive at all for Australian residents and Australian citizens. Why? Because you can actually apply for a loan so that the government will pay for your education and you just pay your education loan once you start working and earning money but of course for international students out there you need to pay out of pocket or privately and that is an added income for the university that's why there's a lot of international students in Australia so this video is also intended especially for those international students out there thinking of studying in Australia and I highly recommend Deakin University. Why? Because I have experienced good education at this university 
and my experience was all positive. This is their typical room at Peking University, although they also have theatres. And we are going to another building now. They've got a dance studio. Greeneries on your right. By the way, they can also have three more campuses in Victoria, in the state of Victoria in Australia. There's two campuses in Geelong. One is in the, the Geelong city center, right at the front of the beach. And then the other one is in the Geelong suburb called Warren Ponds. And they also have another campus in the regional city of Warrnambool. And I personally like the stairs and as you can see, probably you know now why. And like what I said in my previous university campus tour, one of the ways to become a permanent resident here in Australia is to be a university student for at least two years. It might not be inexpensive and it might cost you a little bit but if you want to become a permanent resident and at the same time learn and have that knowledge that you want from an Australian university then being an international student is one of those ways on how to become a permanent resident in Australia. And for those international students wondering where would they live once they are studying at this university? Well, there's a lot of accommodations and rental houses surrounding the university. I myself, when I was studying a few years ago at this university, I was living in an apartment 15 minutes away from the university. And what I did back then was just catch a tram to and from the university it's a very accessible university from the city and from other suburbs that's the multi-level car park and there's a lot of directions inside the university so you won't get lost Now we are heading towards the school library which is open until late 
and people who are not students in this university can actually access them you can read books but you can't borrow books Their library is big, it's massive. They've got a lot of book selections to choose from. They've got computers everywhere. They've got desks everywhere. And they have quiet places as well. If you want to concentrate on your studies or reading the books, then you can use those spots. And outside the library, they have cafes. We are now heading towards the newer buildings on the left side of the campus. And this is making the campus even massive.
and they have their own bank branch that's Bendigo Bank and they have a branch inside the university can you believe that And this is their sports center, sports hall. You can play any type of ball games here. Basketball, tennis, anything, volleyball. And they also have their own restaurant. Look at this. Sage restaurant. And they've got a huge selection of food to choose from. Unfortunately, they're already closed for the day. I would love to try it one day. We're going to be crossing this bridge so that we can explore the other side of the campus. And look at this unique bridge guys, the railing is glass. It's a transparent glass so you can easily see your sides in the underneath of this bridge And this is their law school or law building. Let's go inside because it's getting cold outside. Let's enjoy the warmth of the interior of this building.
and this is the night view of that bridge with a glass railing beautiful they also have their own bus station inside the campus they have their own gym they have their own basketball outside and plenty of restaurants in this side of the campus So if you are an international student looking for a university in Australia, there's plenty to choose from. The quality of education in Australia is very high and I had few university campus tours already in my channel. Please check them out. There you go guys. Thank you for joining me. I shall see you again on my next university campus tour. Bye!